this dude's a master Tom Kench player. How's it going, you two? I'm Uncle Loco. Diamond 2 Cannon. Playing in Master MMR for some reason. We're trying out first strike. We're taking Cole. We're gonna go max money build. We'll see how it works. My first impressions of this rune aren't very good. I feel like Cannon benefits from Electrocute so much more than first strike right now, but... I think it's worth testing a lot more than I have. I've only played like maybe 5 or 10 games with it. It doesn't seem super strong to me, but maybe I'm just playing it wrong. So I think it's worth testing testing a little bit more. But we're taking it into Tom Kench. What better matchup than a tank matchup for Kleptomancy 2.0? We're taking Magical Footwear, Mini Dematerializer, and Cosmic Insight, Taste of Blood, Ultimate Hunter. This is the rune set I'll be taking probably most often if I'm taking for a strike. Maybe change out Magical Footwear for a stopwatch if you need boots early. This game might have been a game to do that, but we'll probably probably be fine. I will probably go Zonius this game too because I have a Rengar and Zonius just completely counters him. Level 3 invade blue, we'll see. I need to get wardens up early. I don't really want to be pushing into Tom Kench, so I'll probably try and keep the lane in the middle. But yeah, this rune is pretty neat. I don't think it's super strong on Kennen specifically because he does take few too many trades and it goes on cooldown when you take damage. So stuff like, I don't know, Fiora, range top laners, stuff like Lucian, anything like that, I don't think this is a good rune into. Okay, we got money! Six, eight gold? No. Eleven gold! The biggest strength of this rune is going to be in the mid game, which is why I don't feel like it's that great for Kennen. Since most of the time, if he has enough gold for his core items, then you're already in a good enough position to carry a game. This guy's master. Why am I in master MMR? I'm just a Diamond 2 player! One of my favorite things about taking the Inspiration Tree is that you get Dematerializer, and it feels really nice to play. Just cause if you're ever getting shoved in, like Perma, you can just demat a Cannon Minion and then you're fine. Doesn't super apply in this matchup. Mostly better for mid lane, but I think it's still pretty fun. It's a nice room to take. Okay, so he's bot side. Bot, bot lane should not die. Kind of just keeping this wave here because he knows Kane's top, so he can't really walk up and take aggressive trades. Uh. Once I have my passive auto, I'm going to look for a trade here with first strike. I think the biggest thing when you're playing first strike is to look for like electrocute like trades. One more auto. Kind of just go for like stun trades or yeah just like full combo them it's not worth it just to get like an auto or two if you're gonna take a trade take a big trade so one thing i really haven't been able to experiment with so far is like the new items i don't feel like too many of them are that good for cannon even cosmic drive on paper it looks really good for cannon but i don't really like it i'm just gonna demat this and get a pre recall I feel like he just benefits too much from damage. He doesn't really need that much utility. Utility items like, I don't know, Cosmic Drive or like the Crowning Queen one, whatever it's called. This thing, Shattered Queen, I don't think it's very good. Uh, here I will just go Blasting on Refillable. Again with the new alternator changes, you only get 25 AP versus 40. You do get a bit of HP, which is pretty good in the lanes you're going to be trading with, but this Tom Kench has not traded with me once. So I think if you're just like trading with them and they don't trade back, I think the AP is better. Both for wave clear and for just your, your own trades. Probably double lift. 
Yeah, this dude's master, this dude's master. I don't know who else is. I just saw in the loading screen. I do not want him to get a recall here. And that's what he wants right now. If he goes for these... Frick. That hurts. Should have known that's what he was going for. And my health bar's gone. Speaking of not trading with people... I have teleport, it's fine. He's gonna take a free base here. I think this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna also take a free base. Because I have DMAT. He's teleporting. This isn't fair! <laughs> Whatever. That's an awful wave. I'm gonna go for this. Just TP here. Get a control ward. Watch Rengar immediately come gank top because I teleported. Please don't. Twenty-three gold. All right, I should ward. If he's in here, I die. Okay, he's not. We're good. We don't have to ward. Not yet. Anytime he's out of vision, he's likely trying to like dive onto me with his thingy. Nice. So I have to be careful of that. We'll just do that. Drop ward there. <laughs> yeah, the biggest strength of this rune is going to be in the mid game. You're not going to get much out of it early. And you're not really expected to. So that's why I think that it's better on champions that scale and don't need like those super early items. Or won't spike with them. I could be wrong though. My team is dead. They are literally all dying. Nice. It does make trades for the enemy feel a little bit worse though, so I like that. Whenever Klepto was meta, I was a little bit late on the bandwagon. I ain't freezing this. So now that this is maybe strong, I'm gonna be looking to play it a lot more. How much is it done? About 100? Rengar has to be top right. No way he's not. I'll see him if he is, or I'll see his ultimate. So to play carefully here. Everyone on the map's missing. For all I know, Sen is here too. We know he's not in his bot side jungle. Goodbye. Nice. Tag down. Matchups like these, you really just have to play carefully and with respect. Do not overstep your boundaries. Or you will get punished very quickly. I'm accidentally split maxing, but I'd like to be maxing Q here. I think you are dead. That's what they say. Yeah, that's why I have to play carefully. Rengar is in our top side. Tom Kench has a freeze on me. It's kind of just a feels bad moment. I'm assuming he ulted. I can't walk up, man. They could just walk up here. Yeah. I have to leave, sadly. They're gonna invade this top side. Kane just has to like walk to his bot side or gank bot. The bot's resetting. Uh, feels a... Terrible, man. Feels terrible to have to recall there. I lose the whole wave, but I kind of have to. If I greed, I lose my life. Uh, nobody saw that, right? I 
my biggest hope here was that Tom Kench had Bombie Cinder, so we couldn't really freeze. But it seems I was wrong. He shouldn't be able to just one-shot me right now. So I'm gonna just shove this in. <sighs> Mini Nagro man. Flash, I'm being ulted into, yeah. I just die. I can't trade back. <sighs> it's whatever. He should shove and take plate. Nice. But I got a shutdown. Oh, they winning though? They're not winning. I don't really mind that too much. Do I TP here? In seven? I can. Shut down! I'm the best. Ooh. Double shutdown. I'll take it. Almost never use your second TP for lane. You will regret it. Because you can get plays like that off. Take a plate. Then recall for Proto. And I get boots too. I would love to have dropped this control word at any point in the game, but it's fine. This feels bad for her. She can get dove. Next item probably is going to be Void Staff. I still think it's the best second item for Cannon. In almost every scenario. Is he just going to get ulted and ran down? I think he is. Tom Kench is fair. Tom Kench is fair. Oh, you're scary. If I had ult, I would flash on her. Just literally instantly. to hit her with that. Got her. Completed call. Walk in here. Send is there. Got him. Just kind of last hit that. Alright, mid and jungler dead. Center's around here. I'm only kind of in danger from Tom Kench. Also, if you saw me split maxing my Q and W, it wasn't on purpose. I started maxing W, then I defaulted to Q. I would have maxed W into Tom Kench anyway. Do I get void stuff off that? We can't wait for it. Nah, it's fine. Dude, they made Void Staff more expensive, man. The change to it was minus 5 AP plus 5 pen, and then 100 more gold. I think they just made Cosmic Drive a phase rush item. And this is the same, but with a different build path and HP, I think. No, it's 30 less AP. Wow. As you can tell, I watched every preseason change fully and entirely. I feel bad for the victor. I kind of just gave him a lane swap, and now he's getting rolled.
Yeah, I kind of had to at that point. I got hit by too much. Kane can take her out. He got instantly exhausted. I can avoid now. Nice. Why is my all chat on? I always turn my all chat off. Because people can be flamey. Sorry, Vic. Yeah, I gave him a bad lane swap, sadly. He has crown. Hmm. Third item, I think. This is worth it. Do they have shields? They have Tom shield. That's kind of it. Yeah. I don't think Shadow Flame's that great of an item, honestly. Unless they do have shields, then it's worth it. But I haven't really played it, so I don't know. Everything I'm saying is based off of day one impressions. So don't take anything like 100%. I think I'm fine here. If Cassiopeia somehow turns up behind me, then I'm sad. Okay, she's bought. We get an objective bonus! For zero reason. We definitely needed that to get back into the game. Hi, Tom. Well, I'm dead. Never mind, he's dumb. Cool. I expected more to happen there for the enemy. Come on, bro. I want to use my first strike. This will be monster in team fights when I just like get a really good flank. Dude, enemy bot just having perma cryo sucks. Our jungle can't play the game, and one of us is gonna be one v two. Me or Victor? Me! Nope. I'm better. I'm just better. Yeah, screw, screw freaking Zonia's man. We're going, I don't know what. Rab? Stopwatch is technically the best item here, but I want damage. So I'm gonna go Rab Cap. Either Rab Cap or Shadow Flame. We'll see how it works. But I'm going to get an NLR. I have not placed this control word all game. It's not just you who's noticing it. I have no ult. That warden here. On the off chance that the enemy like flubs their control ward, this ward will stay alive. But if they place it here, it won't. Victor has TP. Someone will have to match him. I have R and 20 if this dragon stalls. Uh, goodbye, Nami. Not yet, not yet. They don't know I'm here. They don't know I'm here. I can go in. I'm going in. I instantly exhausted, but I think it's fine. Should we be able to win? Should. We killed Senna, and we get out. Ah, oh, man. Victor was a little bit late. Let's try. This thing, man. Do I have to get a Veil? What the heck? I had enough damage. Maybe Veil is the option. Because she's just melting me in fights. I don't think I've died to anyone else. I can TP. I'm just going in a lot. Anytime I second guess myself, I'm just going to go damage. Nice. Somehow Nami got the kill, it was probably with her E. Nice. Take wave. I think we're safe to take the wave. We'll see. If I die, you can quote me. <laughs> oh no. 
She led him to the wave too. Nice, I miss and he dies. And she's dead. Cringe! Flash abusers, man. I'm selling this. We go good old reliable. How much have I got from this? 700? It's actually not that bad. Take a sip of coffee. Why am I walking mid? Ash is mid. Bot's like, it feels so bad to walk bot because I can just die instantly to anyone. But if they overstep here, then they die. They can't see me. The vision wall is like right here along with the... The brush. He got flashed, Tom Ulted man! How are they all mid? What? He actually got flashed, Tom Ulted, and then Cassiopeia ran me down. <sighs> That's so cringe. I gained a lot of gold though, huh? <laughs> Dude, it's so cringe. They have double exhaust, Everfrost, Tom Ult. She has this now. Senna has redemption. Ash is dead. For absolutely no reason. Oh, I'm not walking. Side lanes do not exist if you're losing. Alright, Victor. Let's see if she stays. They are formatting bot. You guys are so bad if you go on that. Okay, they're just so good if they go on that. Never mind. I'm always wrong. I missed cannon because I was flaming my team. Deserved. <laughs> we have this. I have flash. If I can get rab before, that'd be nice. I need rab. I need rab. And Nami's dead. I can't. I need to get my rap cap and then teleport to Jake. I can't teleport to Drake. They're just gonna take it. I'm gonna try anyway. They took it really fast. My teleport was troll. It's fine. I didn't need teleport anyway. Why do I feel like I have no AP? It's because I don't have Absolute Focus or Gathering Storm. I'm usually ha at like 500 AP, 520-ish. You guys saw that, right? No one can side lane because of this Rengar. Literally no one can go into any side lane because of Rengar Tom. Nice, good job. I can side lane now. I feel like I need Banshees and Zonias just to survive in fights, man. Or I need to be better at flanking. But that's very hard if I don't have Flash Perma. They're just running it. Feel bad for my Victor. He queued up to play some fun League of Legends and he got to side lane against Thomas all game. Off my screen. But 
Off my screen. I thought I was recalling. Okay. I'm probably going to meet Rengar somewhere here. And I will be very sad. But if I can get behind them, we're in a good spot. Oh no. They're walking in, man. I'm fine. I didn't have to use flash, and we took a good fight. I got a shutdown. Dude, Kane is so squishy. Rengar is legit one-shotting him. I saved flash, which is good. What's the next item? I need some sort of tankiness, but I also need a lot of damage. So it's like... Rylice for 350 HP, Zonia's will work. So this is probably the best item here. As so much as I don't want to. Yeah. She's kind of right. The enemy team just like walked too far forward into us because we overextended. And I didn't really have like a good way to get in. I did what I could. I needed to save Flash and I did because if we lose Drake then we probably lose the game. Victor's always sidelining top, so I can't really do anything there. And walking bot is a death sentence. Let tower die. I let the tower die. If that tower doesn't die, we have nowhere to farm. <sighs> no, I missed cannon. I was watching mid lane, and they killed him. I guess I can come. We just run it down. Run it down. Nice. Good ol'. Very good job to my team. They actually saved that. Objective bounty! Do we get another one if we take two? We do! This is not fair. Objective bounties are not fair. Do we go friend? We can't. Objective bounties are not fair, my entire team knows it. That's not fair. <laughs> we just got freaking 1200 gold. <laughs> Everybody knows that's not right, man. What is this? That's not fair. I'm going this, I need bulkiness. <laughs> Preseason's a mess, and that should not go through. We literally just got, like, 2k gold. Just from taking towers we would have normally gotten. If anyone gets picked, by the way, we lose the game. I'm not level 16. I'm so sad. I just have to walk in with my team. I think we can take up space here. He can't kill us all. Rengar cannot kill us all. And I have Zonius if he goes on me. Uh, he killed one of us. Get the tomb, get the tomb, get the tomb! We have to flip this. We have to. No, they got the Drake. Oh. Dude, we couldn't have died at right here. That sucked. Oh, we tried so hard. We don't lose the game. Look at their base. We do not lose the game. But we lost Soul, and that sucks. Kane is getting one shot by this Rengar. Kane. Get. Stop watch. Please. 
Just go GA, man. At this point, you're getting one shot on repeat by Rengar. Just go GA. This is doing a lot. I can see it. <clears throat> I just don't know if it's any better than Electrocute. Electrocute's such a good rune on Kennen. I have Flash in 60. If we just don't give up Baron. We need to not give up Baron. If we give up Baron, we lose the game. We literally lose on the spot. I'm here. Okay. As long as they're not on it, we're fine. Ash is doing very well this game. I've been seen. Ash is a win con at this point. Her build was kind of troll going Gale Force PD, but I think she's fine now. She's kind of stabilized. We can never start this Baron, by the way, because Rengar wins 50 50s. He just does 2k damage to it. I say we can never start this Baron, and then we start this Baron. I'll be in front. I can zone use. both get hit. We're fine! Wow, he dies. I'm fine. I wasted flash, man. Wait, Rengar died to minions. <clears throat> Diamond 2 Master, by the way. That is Master MMR. They are taking this, aren't they? Okay, we're good, 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 we're good. Dude, wasting flash is giving me concerns. I need all my HP. If I get here, and it's not warded, we win the fight. Yeah? Or should I just like go sideline and TP in? I think that's the best bet. I can not die to Rengar with my Zonia. I think I'm the best candidate for going bot. Kind of Victor because he has Shattered Queen, which has blocked 4k damage by the way. I think I just pressure... Wow, they just took it. That sucks. They kind of can because Lucian Cassiopeia plus Rengar shred. Probably faster than any comp in the game. Most comps in the game. Do I have to TP? I should just walk. And Nami's dead. I should have TP'd earlier, but they also shouldn't have fought. We shouldn't have fought at all. That is not a fightable position. Well, he's dead. I can zone use it, so I'm fine. I can't really die. Ash can, though. Yeah, she flash ulted me. Man, that sucks. Wasn't even the runes fault this game. Oh, they just had a monster fed mid jungle and canon 15 deaths. <laughs> that was a really fun game though, holy. Oh, no, 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 
GG. Nice try, everyone. Yeah, I should have a lot of damage, huh? <laughs> Good game to my team. That was a fun game. Oh, yeah. Let me check what last strike did. First strike. 1300, which isn't bad, but the damage dealt is probably a lot less than Electrocute's gonna do. So I don't really know how to feel about the rune. I think it's viable. I don't think it's bad by any means. And that was definitely a matchup to take it in, if any. A tank farm lane? Pretty good. I'll do more testing. For now, I don't really know if it's, like, core or, like, the best. But it can't be that bad. Anyway, that's Kennen versus Tom with First Strike. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.